Haley, how do you decide on what color to dye your hair? Is it random or a reason behind it? And Taylor, does Brian do your hair too? <laughs> this, this, um, yes, but this last year, so I, after the last tour, I buzzed my head. Um, I do that whole thing. I think that girls do. I maybe guys do too. Sorry, I don't want to point you out. But like when you go through a breakup or something, and you like cut your hair and it yes. feels like. But I, I do that in life all the time. I think after that tour, I, I shave my head and um, and I it's my goal now to cut my own hair. So I I cut my own hair right now. It's not fun. I'm pretty bad at it, but and it's really hard with the mirrors to get the back and stuff. So. It's, doesn't look that good. But he normally does it. Yes. Um, and my color. Um, <laughs> good Die Young has the best brown ever. We don't make a brown yet. <laughs> it's a dream. It's going to be my signature color. It's just, yeah. It's going to be called York. York by York. Um, so, as far as deciding on hair colors, yeah, it's kind of random. I think that. One thing I've tried to do, even though we always have like, there's always special events like a video or something, and you know you want to you want it to look fresh or different. Maybe I want to like for my mentor, I was like, I'm gonna just do turquoise for this whatever. But like I think I've tried to keep it still based on my feelings and my emotions because that's a great outlet for me and it always has been. It's always been good to uh, you know a good mode of expression for me. So um, yeah, I really try to have fun with it. I try to not let it get too businessy and too much like about oh Haley from Paramore has this color hair you know I just I want it to be what I want and um, you know and actually it was crazy being not just orange or red for a whole year in 2014 it was the, the best it actually was a good mental break for me so yeah thank you hey you hey where are you from I'm Christina awesome. Yeah, you are. Um, my question is, um, before you guys were in the band, was there a song you would play, like a cover, when you would perform live? <laughs> well, <laughs> so, two answers to that. Yeah, really. there are two. Do you remember the birthday party we played for, um, who did, whose birthday was that? It like was five the years Shepherds. Ago. The Shepherds, Rebecca Shepherd. Yeah. Um, it was in their basement. Yeah. Did we I played cover? bass. You did? I didn't know the song. What? You didn't? No. Did did we cover Deftones? We did that in about every like rehearsal that Josh and Zach were ever yeah. in. We, we wouldn't rehearse our own songs, we would just right. play Deftones. Yeah, we just, when we were re like really young and we didn't really have a, a handful of songs, we, we thought we were going to be, we thought we wanted to be super heavy, you know, so we were covering like Deftones and I think Thursday. There's, there's this band, it, like for real, this is like a deep cut, because it was, so our friend JJ, whose mother's uh, maiden name was Paramore, that yeah. played bass with us like forever He was ago. our bass player back then. Like yeah, when Haley was talking about when, when we first were in a band, like yes. JJ was with us, and, uh, but his brother was in a band called Echo Cast. Yes. And there's a song called Ignite. Yes. That anytime that we got together, we played that song. Yeah. So good. That's, that's like the I forgot about that. Echo Cast. Yeah. yeah, I don't even know if you could find their music online, but you should try. Um, yeah. That's a baby on the cover. It does, yeah, yeah. Like lights shooting out of its eyes. I think he burned it for me. That's rude, but I appreciated it. But also, I was, you know, me and Jeremy were in the factory band too, so I was covering, you know, I think I was 12 and we were doing Shaka Khan, Stevie Wonder, we were, you know, I think that was a really cool time in life for me because I got, I was kind of in two bands at one time and I would go to Taylor's house and we would play stuff that we really listened to. And then we would, I would go over here and play like, old funk music, so. Well, and let's not forget the first show that we ever played together, I think, was, was Christina Aguilera. Oh, yeah, we did. How did we forget that? We covered for our youth group. They asked us to cover Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. It was a reach out night, it was, a, or, I'm sorry, outreach, outreach night. Yeah. So you had to play like some song that was not offensive, yeah. but it could get, <laughs> <laughs> It was like some, a youth outreach. Yeah. And so I played piano, Taylor played guitar, we had everyone, you know, Josh, Zach, and JJ, I think, um, there's video of this. Uh, well, one day we'll find it and we'll show you guys because it's pretty mind-boggling. It's good. Thank you.
All right, what's your name? Read from it. Hi guys, I'm Messiah. I'm from Brooklyn. Hey. So my question is, um, do you guys ever get starstruck when you meet someone famous? Yes. <laughs> uh, I met Beyonce at the Grammys, <laughs> and I still don't remember what happened. <laughs> I. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, do, I, I don't. This is. I'm actually not trying to be funny. Um, but yeah, most like famous people, I, I just didn't really grow up idolizing that kind of scene. Not because I'm above anyone. I just. I don't know. I just my family or whatever. We just didn't kind of do that. But like literally seeing. I talked to Ricky and Mikey from Me Without You, and like the whole time, I'm just like I kind of get nervous the whole time. I'm like. This is, so, yeah. Cool. so yeah, I think it's it's like people that have had a really big influence on me, not just because they're famous, but because they've you know like if I saw Tom York, I would I would die. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you would need help. Thanks a lot. How you doing? Hey, hi, I'm Kelly from New Jersey. Hi Kelly. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, my question, I know it can be hard being away from family and friends when you're on the road. What little piece of home do you bring with you when you're on tour so you don't get homesick? Oh, that's good. Um, well, I think that, like, when we were younger, it was awesome to leave home. Because I think, you know, I, I was 15 or 16 when we hopped in the van for the first time. And um, by the time we were on a bus, I was 18. And I just remember always wanting to go to those places to feel homey. And I kind of took it upon myself because I'm, I, I think I'm a little OCD. And I would clean and try, you know, bring candles and try to make it feel like home a little bit. Um, but I think, like I said, when we were younger, we wanted to get away. We were like trying to like have our own independence and get away from our parents and be cool. Now that we're older and we have, you know, homes and, and our own kind of family situation and dynamic, I think that it does make it a lot harder. But as long as you make your home away from home feel like you. And me, it's always bringing a candle or bringing my journal or something like that that kind of helps just it gives you some consistency in a world that's not consistent because you're in a different place every day so that's the best answer you got yeah i i mean i bring my clothes and my toiletries <laughs> I, I don't i don't have anything special i bring out it packs light too yeah pretty light. thank you so much Hey, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Kira. I'm from Austria. Hey. Hey. Next question is, what's the best and worst food you've ever had while on tour? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, Vegemite. I'm I was going to say the same thing. We, we tried it on but stage, we, didn't But, but we didn't try it. Everyone's like, but you didn't try it the right way. Because yeah. you have to try it like on toast a certain way. There's a With very butter? like, yeah, see, With there's butter. like, everyone's like, no, they gave us a spoonful on stage yeah, in front of a million people. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. Almost threw up. Yeah, but I know that we didn't try it the right way, yeah, so, so I know it's unfair to yeah. all you Aussies. Yeah, that, that was food. When we were in Thailand, though, we had a, what did we get? Did we get like Penang or something? And I got it, and I thought like, oh, it's gonna be so good. It was so spicy, I couldn't eat it. And I thought I was really tough, but I, I couldn't. But it was really good. It just. Also, you couldn't taste it because it was so spicy. I don't know, like, what is, like, objectively the best, like... Right. I don't know. Because, you know what, in Japan, we, like, they, they treat us so good and they take us to really cool restaurants that are, like, you know, like, off the beaten path and stuff. But I will say, every time we go to Brazil, we go to a Brazilian steakhouse, and that's kind of cool because, they, like, there's so much stuff. Like, there's just, like, endless amounts of grilled everything. Veggies, different meats. You're like, well, I don't even know what that came from. And it's, but it's cool. They always treat us really well too. Yeah. This is big left calf. And you're like, cool. no thank you. Let's go for it. Yeah.